Hello everyone, this is Gaston from Preslin Island in Seychelles where is very nice airport and spyware scenery we will use it for this quick tutorial for users who wants to fly and not watching long videos in VR and we will not fly anywhere today so we will stay on ground and I will show you what is new in Heritage AVX package which is running on this Corimata Concord FXP version 3.12 which is uh, used for x 12 and the Heritage AVX package upgrade has two versions the basic, that's called the basic, it's 3.00 which is mostly the compatibility upgrade and except few visual improvements it's the same you know, what you are seeing in Explain 11 but you may notice that I have posted some uh, on Instagram few new features and improvements over that and for that is a premium content version 3.58 so if you want, you may download the basic version for free for everyone, for everyone like before from uh, explain.org and if you want the premium content and on that page where you download it, the basic version there is a paypal link, click on it and send 20 euros as a donation to support the developers, me, if you want this product keep alive because I have spent 10 months on it and uh, every day in average 2 hours working on it and uh, as I said send a donation of 20 euros and leave your email there so I will send it to you the new UA core file and instructions how to patch the version 3.00 to the 3.58 the premium version yeah. so this is about <laughs> the installation and uh, now let's get on board if you want to find out if it worked it and I follow that it is. So first you have to do the premium version you have to go to the main door and look in this passenger announcement pen where is ground service switch which is very essential I will switch uh, the view because it's not available from external view and uh, this is not available in basic version in terms of switching yeah, it's visible but you can operate the switches okay uh, it's back to the passenger announcement panel And we will switch on this uh, ground service to have some power. And we need some vestibule lights, boarding, wrecking area. And we can switch off these uh, lights here. Okay, we have power. And we can go to the uh, cockpit area. We'll close the doors here and if you remember we need to have this ground power LA label on you can do it from graphic user interface here GPU or 
simply by his ground call. And uh, in service interphone set to ground. Yeah. So you can see it's available now. But first, if we enter the cockpit, we should do some uh, checkout. The first one, if there is a night or darkness here use a couple of these cockpit lights, for example a roof. This will bring light to this place. This one is for ground here. And this one is uh, inspection for these cockpit breakers. Alright, so uh, First, you need to check if you don't have a couple of switches in unwanted positions. For example, these fuel pumps. Because if you power up the plane, you need everything steady. So, you switch them off. They are off because, you know, you can start explain in approach scenario and then you need pumps on so they are off now and uh, this is backup generator this is okay this one is okay this one is okay there is nothing on everything is set Default. Yes. All right. Ah, raining. We have rain effects finally. And these rain effects, if you have icing simulator, my another add-on, which is free, you can download. Ooh, you can download it from explore.org, and they will bring uh, on ground some icing conditions too. I highly recommend that. Okay, so uh, now we will bring back the power and wait for the first initialization. And I will switch on this uh, loudspeaker here for cockpit warnings. It's extra cockpit warnings. There is a volume for them. This is uh, for uh, this is for heritage sounds from last flight in 2003 from La New York to London, and few of them <coughs> are applied automatically. And for example, this one. And this one is a trigger for manually present sounds. I will show you one of them. Okay, so now we can turn off. Don't forget to close this system split, split breaker. This is for ground operations needed. But for flight, it can be tripped. Uh, Red uh, warnings should be clear at first. So this is a uh, equipment bay cooling. It brings flow airflow to the electric racks. So it's starting. Uh, doors we don't need. <laughs> this will disappear very soon. Uh, we we have uh, ground power indication of. 115 volts and 400 hertz. Master warning, we will switch it off. This is uh, not needed right now. Yeah, hydraulic warnings. Uh, so we'll switch on hydraulics from ground. Yellow currently. You can see yellow is responsible for 
pressure into brakes and uh, we will switch off the I intake computer I don't need it intake warning okay so we have a power here this is yellow pumps yellow hydraulic pumps and uh, cockpit is almost initialized uh, let's bring up some features which is here this is a emergency evacuation warning to arm with no smoking and emergency arm uh, this combination brings uh, the extra anti-collision lights to be switched between white and red color uh, this is visible from outside but now it's is daylight so it's not very good visible but there is it if you want okay um, you can see in this in the cockpit there are a couple of new performance plates for you engines and take per uh, INS SIWA uh, inertial navigation system codes and uh, uh, wind and speed components alright this is the sound from heritage uh, package for departure, so we call it. Good morning, speedbird Con Code 2, IFR with my command. And speedbird 2, I guess for the last time we can give you that Canarsie climb. Speedbird 2 heavy, clear to airport. Kennedy 9 departure, Canarsie climb, radar vector ship. As filed, maintain 5000, expect flight level 290, 10 minutes after. Squawk 1136, and Mike is the ATIS. Congo 2, Mike 1136, thanks very much indeed. When you're ready to taxi, enjoy your flight. Ground flight 9, Congo 2. Yes, uh, as you can see, in 358 there is a new transponder unit. Switch it on. And enter the transponder code. Hey, standby. Exponder uh, and the traffic advisory and traffic and radar advisory for TCAS. The TCAS is here and currently in X.12 has limited functions because uh, uh, this is from freeware plugin uh, which has worked in X.10 and 11 and at OpenGL it has uh, diamonds for traffic around which where x Explained 12 doesn't have uh, OpenGL anymore so it's not working so we have it here for vertical in speed indication and some TKS modes when the author finish or make a fix for x 12 it will be working but for now it's not working yeah. but if you want I have version of heritage airing package 2.52 for x 11 and it uh, will be available for uh, premium users if you are using x 11 so uh, let me know and there is a computer AFCS item which is responsible for autopilot uh, switching off and it contains your email address here in those two displays when you power up the plane we missed that uh, no problem I will switch it on and uh, 
this yeah. unit is used for flight and this one for ground so we will test uh, our units we need to make a one flight test yeah this is automatic but here you will see your uh, reg reg registration informations in these two uh, displays, but only for three five eight. Yeah. All right. And we will start with a navigation system because it takes too much time. And the navigation system is one of the features in 358, which is very different from basic version and original Kolimata version. Set it to standby. Oh, sorry, standby. Standby, standby. <laughs> and uh, we need to first set the initial, initial position which you don't need in basic version but in f premium version like real time you need to do it because the system needs to know where where we are okay <coughs> so uh, if you don't know where you are exactly there is a small help or cheat you know this is finished there was something which we should see make it to ground test test all and it will start test you can see uh, uh, this unit has uh, 12 computers inside which corresponds to these modes yep but uh, now everything has failed because you need to check and set a few uh, ground systems for example this one AICS switch all of them on then we need ground hydraulics ready so we have and uh, we need uh, all these Throttle masters at on or main, and we don't need to forget to switch air data computers, which uh, gather information from the sensors of speed, altitude, and so on, and full power. So, I will do it full power without engine running is very important so we are ready for a test and the test has started yeah, you can see okay but this is not very really important right now just I, w I want to show you that is working and let's go back to uh, navigation so if you don't know <coughs> the coordinates of GPS switch this Plessy PVS 1580 diagnostic computer to power on on ground during flight should be at power huh? it will be spring loaded back during flight and enter some cheat code uh, one is 996 display so it's uh, this should be south or north four degrees and 67 minutes so let's enter them here so let's try south 40 40 it will be 40 uh, yes 40 no 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 it's not 40, it's 4. 467. If you made a mistake, hit clear. Yeah? So, so 0, 467 something. Insert. 
This is different from Corimata and basic version. Uh, you need, as a real world, after every coordinate on one side, enter in or right insert. Uh, so insert is press it twice. And the other one, this is a latitude and longitude. We will use another cheat code, which is uh, na no sorry clear. Create nine 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 seven. Display five five five. So it will be east probably five five five. So we will use east. 055555 and this is a very clever unit it will correct uh, if I'm entering wrong coordinates yes you can see so this is a current and present position so we will enter it to the other ones so it's uh, 440 south 0 Four zero no 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 it's four zero two insert west no east five five oh no no that's not correct okay uh, if you made a mistake hit clear start over again so south zero four four zero two insert east zero five five three zero seven uh, if you are asking where are the zeros for example here there are two options uh, I decided and I prefer where the zeros are not visible but if you want tell me I will tell you how to put by default zeros here it's changing the texture it's very easy uh, but I prefer this one so another one sound zero four four zero two insert East zero fifty five three zero seven insert, and we have all units on present position. If you asking uh, what's the difference between three five eight and basic and Klimata version regarding uh, this uh, INS units in basic version and <coughs> Korimata version uh, uh, all units are the same and only one is available for programming and it's connected to explain both ways so that means if you load something to the unit is stored and you can uh, program explain from this uh, unit yeah? and uh, in 358 every single one is independent you can program this one uh, differently like this one or this one uh, so uh, uh, you might ask okay um, can we use uh, more waypoints than 10 I would say yes this one can have 10 waypoints for example from uh, one airport to another one and this one can hold another 10 waypoints to fly back yeah? but uh, there is a limitation only this one is connected to uh, explain flight plan yeah? so this one if you want to use uh, you have to use uh, track or heading mode on or something else but not uh, INS mode INS mode is available only for <laughs> only for this one yeah? it's to explain limitation but every single one in 358 it's uh, independent and it's it has 
its own logic. Yeah, it, it's only a few parameters are connected to explain, and it's uh, built from scratch and it's very reliable. I will show you. Ah, it's very good. So this is completely new here, and uh, the difference you can see is here. For example, if we do a line, you will not see any flashing lights here. Yeah? So this is the difference, because in real uh, units, no flashing, only green light. Yeah? Okay, and one important thing. Uh, is <coughs> as you can see in uh, basic version or Kolimata version if you go to here to status STS is status you will see here a counter from 500 approximately to zero and you need to run it. You may have to do this one. Yeah, you have to run elapsed time to be able to reach zero and have uh, units align it. Yeah, this is not needed uh, for three five eight because it has its own counter. The real one. I will show you. Yeah, you can see here 95 and there is some malfunction code here that means that we we don't have uh, waypoints set for that reason this is warning wait and this one warnings too so this is specific for um, my inertia navigation system and we should enter the waypoints now so let's do this set the units to the navigation mode waypoint <coughs> and uh, if you want to program them all with the same waypoints which is standard procedure we will use a remote function you now decide which one you want to use as a entry k pad and the others will be slave so i'm usually using this one but uh, we can use first one okay so let's do this so remote 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 and we will enter the waypoints here now let's find uh from my av tab some flight plan <laughs> where it is uh, let's see yeah this one for example this is from Seychelles and here is a uh, Cape Town okay <coughs> so this is the first or initialized waypoint and the first one will be this one so let's do this okay so south Zero six twenty four zero. It insert and look, the insert is quite slower. For that reason, I'm using usually pro for programming the other ones. This is explain uh, or Kolimata uh, feature where the K pad is very slow if you have low frame rate, for example, but not in 358, it's faster. Okay, and the remote function, as I said, doesn't work in basic version. Oh, it's different. But we are in free fight. I will show you. So uh, this is uh, first coordinate. Now we use east zero five three zero six zero. If you made a mistake, hit clear. Okay, in the you can see they are loaded to the other ones. Yeah, <coughs> all right. Next main point. South ten zero four zero. No, that's not correct. So hit clear. South ten ten zero four zero. Yeah, 
double zero and four. Insert. East zero forty eight three. No, correct. Let's, let's start again. South ten zero zero four. Insert. East zero forty eight three one three. Insert. You can see that disappeared. So INS1 has two waypoints, which is needed for first like. And now we put this one. So 12. It's much faster than basic version or original Koremata. East 0 46 0 7 4. And if you are asking if you can put here your own flight plan from any other south I'm sorry but it's not possible because the guys in Concord don't have that feature or possibility so um, this is possible only in basic version to uh, graphic user interface Uh, and 358 <laughs> is uh, pure for programming but it's quick you know you can see it's very easy so 28 53 4 east 034 26 5 insert so whatever you do in graphic user interface it has no effect here, okay? So 33, 53, 2, insert East 25, 0, 6, 2, insert 7. So 35, 0, 4, 0, insert east 20 0 20 0 0 8 and last waypoint is south 33 58 for insert east 18 with 0 35 2 all right we are finished uh, you can see that and second unit and third unit still has problem with second waypoint so let's load them and double check them by scrolling the wheel and use it and check if they are loaded correctly number nine main point is empty this is initialization waypoint so is the is here we can switch off remote later on and the same here okay load it to the unit so it's ready hit remote in the same way you enter them so this one is the last one because this was the first one and you can see there is a this burning has disappeared and this one is alert it's now active why uh, because we still don't have a we still don't have is display active this will be active when we feel finish alignment which currently is at 65 yeah, 65 55 is considered as basic alignment and it goes it can go to 4 3 5 uh, 4 3, 2, 2, 1 and 0 which is fine alignment it take another 12 minutes so we don't need it 55 is ok uh, there is some action code and uh, we can do nav on our 3 units because it's ready ok <coughs> this is correct it shows correct and um, as you can see, 
there are a couple of information we should check. Uh, first, we check uh, this one. Ah, this is where the Alpes. All right, that's where you want it. Okay. All right. Yeah, so um, let's have a look on this. In this mode, you can check how or which version of Heritage package you have. Hold it, and it's three five eight. The hold is used in this mode only for this information and uh, in position you may hold it and it will hold on display if you are flying uh, this position for future reference yeah but normally it's decreasing or increasing so we have a waypoint there is a wind where this is a sp speed and this is direction and it's changing and this one is desired track uh, this is uh, 232 we should fly this oh, come on two three f 200 uh, if we set this to INS it will show yeah 230 something so this is it yeah but uh, this is not the correct course for from now from here because this is from first waypoint to second waypoint not from the in initial position if you go fly with this setting um i am not sure what the ins mode do because i'm not using it maybe it will point you to the first waypoint but what I do usually is the same thing. I will change this from 1 to, to 2 to 0 and 1. Yeah, you can see it changed a bit. Yeah. So let's do it in the other ones. So waypoint change 0, 1, insert and weapon change released. Same here. Okay, uh, this uh, waypoint change can be used for checking the next desired track. So it will tell you which heading you need to go if you want to turn left or right after first waypoint. So let's try it. Uh, two, three, for example. Two. So it will go left side uh, later on and three four more left uh, uh, if you don't in press insert it will not change the waypoint order uh, so I will not press it and the same thing you can do in distance and time you can see that from this position to first waypoint there is 177 miles from waypoint 3 to waypoint 4 is about 600 but it will not let you for example from 5 to 8 I know this is crazy 5 to 8 it will show alert because this information is not available you can have information only from first to two two to three and so on huh? okay so if I change here in this unit the waypoint order it will change also here huh? for look at this change one uh, no two three insert uh, we'll change. Uh, we'll change it back. Change it back. Okay. So this is how it works. The other modes here. So this is time, which is unknown currently. Uh, this waypoint waypoints we don't need now. They are set position, current position, extract and track error. Extract is uh, this one. And uh, if you are, if I show you this one, uh, this is if you are flying like this. Here is your airplane. 
and this is a track that means that you are for example 5 miles off the course and you are left side from the side track yeah? so this will show you this uh, this display <laughs> and uh, basic version or Corimate version sometimes it shows number sometimes it doesn't but I think it doesn't show anything yeah it will show left or right but will not show you how much uh, where 358 version will show you exact value and this one is uh, how many degrees you are from uh, uh, the, the, the track huh? so very useful I'm using it for every flight this is heading and this is a drift angle affected uh, direction by wind speed and direction uh, which is currently here it's more than 30 but when you fly it will change uh, it will be oscillating between center because we are flying very fast and the winds are not affecting us too much and there is a uh, this is a track currently flying which is different from desired track but currently heading and track under 60 knots speed is the same yeah a ground speed is here it's affected by wind yeah all right uh, this auto and manual uh, it's useful only if you want to have uh, this order unchanged or you want to change it manually for example if I want to have uh, two flight plans uh, programmed some I mean in uh, INS number one will be flight from airport to the and the dry airport and here will be this one will be used for the road back I will switch it like this and after landing uh, I will switch it on and this one will be switched off yeah? so I will use this one and you will see uh, the directions on this HSI and if you want to have them here you need to switch this yeah? so this information will be seen here if you switch that but this is the abnormal procedure uh, normally you will do one flight and uh, use this one or and this one as the same okay and what I usually do and you should do the same the remaining distance for your flight set it here 2860 miles let's make a offset here a bit and hit set yeah, and it will start, start counting down to zero when you fly yeah? So this is the inertial navigation system. Uh, DME is not here updating. You can see that there is no no marking. And to be honest, I don't know how it works. So I left this feature unfinished. Okay. All right. So what else you need? for a flight um, this is a setting of performance data for this takeoff monitor for takeoff monitor green lights will show up uh, during takeoff <laughs> when we have enough power and you should calculate it from this chart now it's 27 degrees so it's hot and you can see there is a 30 degrees we are at which level uh, 100 feet so 
almost sea level. So it's this uh, line. And if you go from here to this desired fuel flow, it's about 20, low 20s, low 20, and they are here. So there is 22, too much, and uh, it should not be visible. Huh? So let's do 20 something, 22 or huh? something like this. This will uh, trigger the green light on. Careful when you operate this, but back it's very close to gear however okay so this is the first part and the second part this is easier so 30 zero pressure it's around 39 39 this, there is a lower resolution so 39 will be somewhere here uh, 39 this is okay this is pressure. Okay, so we have performance for engine. And before we start with fuel system, I'll show you a few new features here. First one is this cockpit door controls. Uh, you know, after New York attacks in 2001, <coughs> the security uh, concerns in in aeronautics and air industry has changed and uh, these doors should be more strength so there is a top lock mid lock and bottom lock uh, one two three and we have channel one and channel two channel one is basic the best security and if you know that there is nothing uh, no threat <laughs> inside the airplane you can do flight door open and only mid lock is uh, controlled huh? so, but this is if you open the doors you'll see that the lock is open and now it's closed huh? you can see it here too all right so this is uh, this one and here are N358 couple of uh, tests for intakes and uh, anti-ice. The anti-ice are operating from here yeah. and this one needs uh, some blue and yellow systems operating under guard and uh, I can tell you uh, this quick tutorial only that these uh, lights uh, warnings uh, are corrected to explain failures yeah, so if you have a problem um, you will see it here uh, there is a test for uh, lamps for uh, radiation detector and what I forgot to tell you uh, there is a uh, I can see correct labels mostly for circuit breakers. The circuit breakers are now have a couple of white circles here, some of them. Yeah. And these are connected to explain failures to and they are not click bodies but there is another one here proximity warning where is it here if it's like this the, f the failure module of explain is disabled if it's pulled away it's enabled so if you have a failure during flight and you cannot uh, fix it and you cannot continue your flight 
and you want to finish the flight hit this button and it will be solved so this is it and let's go to uh, one new feature here if you want to operate uh, the visor without engines which is a limitation in Kolimata Concorde uh, you have to use this nose standby switches for that you need yellow hydraulic operation no, that we have because we have this one set right and switch it like this yeah, a visor will go down always remember that this is the master switch so don't forget to set it to the correct position or otherwise you will see later on strange movement and after every switch switch it back uh, if you lose all the hydraulics there is another one a panic handle is used for emergency landings hit this jack this will automatically be released and you can see uh, it goes to 5 degrees uh, that's correct yes yes this is 5 degrees uh, it's 5 degrees it's not visible normally so let's switch it back uh, so this is new here and we are currently at 5 degrees ok let's get back with hydraulics one important thing uh, for the takeoff is the pressure system the pressure system here is automat uh, semi-automatic and before takeoff you should set desired cabin altitude in system 1 or system 2 it's uh, guided by here and don't forget to set uh, cabin rate which is now zero because we are at ground but later on it will change and you will see it here that the cabin altitude will be growing or here and if you will see not moving there is a problem I found that in x 12 sometimes it start moving this needle the cabin pressure and sometimes not so if will not start switch this turn it back to zero and it will go automatically and it's climb This is 800, this is 1200. Huh? Uh, when it reach desired cabin altitude in normal mode, it will stop automatically. But if you have a problem, this will rise more and more. So you have to stop it manually. Hit, hit this for somewhere and uh, if it will not stop, uh, make it zero. Yeah. So there's the basics. Okay, let's go to fuel system. There is a very <coughs> important information about fuel system. If you compare Kolimata system and Heritage Avinax package fuel system, there is one difference there are a couple of presets which are in heritage annex package switching automatically according these settings yeah. uh, keep this uh, white 
bit in between these bands. Yeah. It's this is the basic principle. And you can do it by shifting fuel from front ta uh, tanks to uh, tanks in the back or in the wing. Yeah. There is a manual mode which <laughs> completely disable my fuel system and it will use Kurimata fuel system. The difference between my system and Kolimata system is mostly in abnormal procedures where Kolimata installed all inlet standby functions where I made only one currently. Yeah? But for normal procedures <coughs> it's better to use my system because Kolimata system don't have uh, working fuel uh, CG computer and a couple of features which I have added later on I will show you. To use for some reason if you want to use um, Kolimata system switch off first this switch. Yeah? This one uh, assure that the it will switching between these couple of modes. Okay. Uh, in Kolimata manual system, you may use graphic user interface for changing or filling the tanks. You can see uh, we have only 32 tons of fuel, which is not enough for Cape Town. Um, to make a refuel, when our systems are operating, you have to use this uh, simple tool for loading fuel. But if our systems are off, you can use even with the uh, Retich Airings package graphic user interface from Kolimata but before power up the airplane so in column dark okay but now we can do it uh, we have to use this one so uh, this is 4,000 miles this is 3,000 miles this is 2,000 miles so we have something between so we'll do in uh, with some uh, reserve this one huh? so it will be 70 or 65 tons something like this so we'll do it it will change the fuel and you can see we have lost the power so we will switch it off switch it off and switch it off again switch it on switch it on and switch it on here okay <coughs> how much fuel is here. 68, alright. But we have here 32. Heritage uh, Avionics package has a ability of refuel if you switch all these inlet valves on. Okay, and start filling. You can see this one is started filling. A bit a difference between basic and uh, premium version is that uh, these fillings steps or procedure are different yeah? in ba and basic is uh, limited that you have to in low quantities like this you have to stop manually when you reach desired uh, level which is 68 tons so in basic version you have to stop it manually at 68 in premium version you don't need to do it right? it will stop automatically ok uh, for takeoff you need to have uh, this CG at about 53 point zero yeah. 
if you don't have it you need to shift the fuel to the back after takeoff you have to enter the the flight which is most of the time uh, to have it you need to do a few steps first is to have this CG counter or display at 53.5 or higher as I said you can do it by shifting fuel here or here and don't forget you need to switch these engine ratings to flight now it's not possible uh, because we are we are on ground and we need to make a perform takeoff first so don't forget to switch it many of uh, you forget that and have problems with takeoff uh, after takeoff because x 12 and Concord is much more than before sensitive for trimming so you need to do it carefully yeah? it's very important all right we can have some background lighting all right So how to set the CG computer and why to do it? Eh, because this unit, if you have a low fuel, there will be red flag and you will not see how many uh, fuel is left in total. If these needles will drop below, I think, one ton or something. Yeah? So there is a backup counter and you need to set it. So go to one and we will enter the AC weight the AC weight if you don't know how uh, what is a zero fuel weight we can use again a cheat let's enter nine 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 display so it's 91 tons but the display is 10 times higher so uh, we use this one 91 zero something so let's enter something this is zero we can leave it and 91 yeah 91 uh, zero one and this one will be nine And there is a fifth dot and when you reach it uh, don't enter anything because we are done go back and we will set a total fuel remaining which is this one 6807 let's say okay because the display is again 10 times higher so it will be seven what else zero yes that's it eight no zero Eight six eight and six. Let's leave it like this unless we will finish the, uh, the refuel procedure and then we will move it to N and this number will be added here so we will have 
a gross weight with fuel okay we should uh, select uh, uh, so this one this, this there should be 91 91 okay and here should be 50 something if you leave it like this you might have troubles uh, with flight mode and will take some time if you leave it like this for example and you will be after takeoff uh, at 53 and a half and you will set this rating mode to flight you will hear a flight f announcement from engineer and there will be no problems with stability at about 10 between 10 and 20,000 feet altitude which sometimes had uh, you had these problems in x 11 yeah but you can do it if you have any problems switched manually to flight it will it will it will be possible huh all right <coughs> This LLC warning is load limit control. That means this load limit preset are at the same level, right? which is not correct. And uh, normally the fuel pumps can operate manually from off to auto or on where auto is considered as on this is very important so use only on air or off or auto is is on okay <laughs> same for the inlet walls um, many of you simply put our pumps on which is not correct uh, because they are not needed to operate if this is full or okay, for example this is uh, you don't need our pumps running uh, one is enough from uh, each tank huh? uh, let's start with these ones <laughs> these pumps are this one is a main this one is a main pump, this one and this one this should be operated every time these two should be set on to if there is a failure but uh, <coughs> they are used as a standby pumps for standby operation for example if you want to fill this tank from this tank uh, or if you want to fill any other tank from these pumps but not in my system only these two can be used for refill tank 10 uh, but only in premium version 358 in standard version it's not available yeah? because many of you uh, asked okay we are flying uh, very low quantity of fuel and there is no fuel in these tanks how to get it there in 358 you can use number 3 or number 4 tanks to refill the tank 10 uh, I'll show you later on how to do it but let's talk about uh, the air system the air is uh, something which is available only at premium version again and the air is used for situations where for a long period of time the fuel tank is full or almost full where aeration of fuel can happen uh, not every tank has uh, the air pump and there is a reason for it uh, 
because for example this one they are constantly running they don't need a pump to remove air from fuel to circulate where this one are usually used in later phases of the flight so the right one are used for the air pumps this one and this one they don't have uh, the air pumps because they are uh, usually depleted or first or they are used every at most of the time this one has its own the air pump here this one number 10 has here and 9 is depleted first so it doesn't need uh, the air pump these two they are used in transonic phase and, and for that reason what well, this one is the basic pump and this one is the air pump okay and this one the same yes a deaeration effect it's normally not much visible so in real concord you can use or you can fly up to three flights with non-functional or malfunction of the air pump number 10 for example and 11 too so you may f fly three, ton three, three times without aeration effect to be visible somewhere for that reason uh, I think the Kolimata and the guys from FS Labs back in 2000 something in flight simulator they don't uh, program this feature uh, because had no effect mostly but heritage package uh, the effect is here visible in pressure tank so if you are flying uh, and climbing too fast with the air pumps off you may see problems with pressurizing the fuel tanks normally after flight level 400 it should read about one and a half psi if you will see a lower number or any warnings there is a problem with aeration or high climb rate eh? so keep in mind that all right so this is the aeration and you may watch a value here it's under the aeration I'm using it for testing but I can tell you it, it's 9998 and if there is some number there is an aeration building yeah? okay for the fuel system uh, if you want to use uh, two specific features which is that load control is used with trim trans auto master you have two options forward and rearward this is automatic fuel movement and you may set it only if you um, make these uh, inlets to auto this one will be shot and when and all fuel pumps off if you decide that you need to move the fuel from this tank to forward if you read forward movement you may you could you may ensure that there is space and there is a space and before you do it preset the limits for example let's leave one or two tons here yeah, two tons 
that means that, that we want to keep two tons here and the rest can be a move to forward or, or here to the wing if I set a limit here to 4 and there will be nothing uh, the fuel from here will be moved here first and if this will be reached it will open these two and the fuel will be moved here yeah? same for the rearward yeah? change it to zero here if there is a fuel and shift it here and rise up the limit okay you see how it works but as you can see it's is guarded so it's not used normally so try to operate the pumps um, manually a common issue in last version was that you may see a difference between this counter and this counter this is because the heritage package is sensitive for fuel transfers if you put m many pumps and many directions of flow and at the same time it simply don't know what to do so uh, you may see different readings so uh, I recommend uh, to move the fuel in one direction with one set of pumps at one time huh? however the 358 version has many fixes over the basic version for the fuel stability so it's much better but, uh, but still a couple of fuel flows can be d difficult huh? but uh, I remember uh, a last flight, one of the last flights, long one, and the difference between this one and this one was only three kilograms. Uh, it's new record, <coughs> so it is very good. Okay, <coughs> so this is a fuel system, and the norm and after him, uh, this is used for if you left all the fuel from these tanks to the other tanks and this is empty 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 and you need to shift the fuel from wings a bit to, 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 to back you can do it uh, we are tank 1 and tank 4 you can see tank 1 and tank 4 and it works only if you switch this one to after him and allow the level in these two tanks drop below 1.6 tons so somewhere here this one can be full but this one needs to be below this uh, mark after it drops switch it to after him and turn on any of these pumps to fill it at the maximum level will be 1.6 tons and you will see that the trim will move back huh? all right yes <coughs> there are uh, counters for uh, fuel used for each engine and uh, if you turn it to the left which is here it will clear our display and warnings and to the right it will show a test uh, these uh, flashing uh, Dio uh, flashing diodes with M which is master and this is a reheat uh, this has something to do with the fuel density but this is not uh, simulated in Concorde or in Splendid at all 
so uh, this is completely random uh, it comes from my random number generator and when you see it it really works like in a real plane so it's very good simulated uh, but it has no effect on your airplane and for that you need always this green light from transporter operating because it's responsible for the random number generator used in many of the temperature systems all over the airplane huh? and really works with ISA where ISA is n still not uh, present in X-Plane as a standard uh, Data ref or a source of data, but in Explain 12 they have improved static temperature, so it's no longer s always the same in every level in every place in the world, and so it's changing. And with this, it's changing a total temperature. You know that a total temperature should not reach more than 127. Yeah, it's here and it's here somewhere too. Where is it? Um, yeah, 127. But uh, this is not the limit where the aircraft will be 100% sure damaged or something like this it's not there are some uh, degrees offset for safety reasons and in the manual you can found that uh, I can find that uh, if you see um, this temperature more than 130 you should notice the air crew on the ground, the ground engineers, to check the airframe for any damage. Uh, uh, so 130 is possible, uh, but not for a long time. This is for all the time limit, but there are limits for short period of time, which is possible. Uh, 130 and in Air France, I have seen on such plate, but I cannot find it anymore. So take this information, not 100% because I cannot find it anymore. But uh, Air France has a limit of uh, 140 at about 12 minutes. Yeah, but not not sure for 100%. Uh, if you want to monitor this information, it will be shown here by the green light if you exceed some values. For example, I will show you. There is a checklist. No, no, no. Custom content number. This one. This one. This one. And hit four clear first. Four zero zero two display. It's twenty seven maximum. But if you reach more than one hundred and twenty seven, there will be green exceedance light and it will be stored into memory. If you hit event, it will show you which code has been exceeded and how much. For example, one degree. 2 degrees, 3 degrees, 10 degrees, or in, and the others in, are in percent. For example, engine 1 can be exceeded to 101% only, for example. Yeah, but you will see it here. If, if there is a green, you hit some limits. Alright, so this is. Um, this is for for the temperature so it is very normal that you will not go above Mach 2 if there is a high temperature yeah it's completely normal okay this is three towns left 
Uh, I will tell you about this one. This is in premium version, clickable only. And it's information about secured cabin for takeoff or secured cabin for landing. It's for the cockpit crew that the flight attendants are ready and they know and we don't need to care about what is happening and we can focus for landing. Huh? Yes. Um, I'm looking what is here when you should know. No, nothing. It's completely uh, standard. Yes. Um, there is change in 358 to a uh, total control. Uh, you can uh, operate every single engine, but not for now. I have four Lua uh, script, four heavy Lua script uh, active because I am in 3D, but in VR uh, I have it off and every single engine can be operated independently and so this uh, reheats yeah? uh, because you can see uh, nobody knows usually what this is this means it's a reminder that we will use four reheats but if you click it there are three of them so you can use three reheats for such operations uh, but it's abnormal but uh, using uh, not in pairs uh, these reheats will cause uh, problems you can see it's constantly switching off so I don't recommend it but it's possible uh, if you have very light airplane just flying from one airport to any or the close airports it can be used uh, all right, all right. So ready? It is ready. Yes, 68. So it's finished. We can switch off all these inlet walls. All right. I shall show you. Uh, it's ready. I will show you how to move the fuel from this tank to tank number 10 so let's do this tank number 10 is input we will set this one as an output and we need to go by pumps to pump the fuel here and we will use number 3 as outlet ok you can see it is working no, it's not working. Why is not working? Well, 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 well. There is something wrong. Ah, yes. There has to be all these switches set off. Now it will work. Four. Yes, you can see it's changing. It goes from here. Let's leave it until four. And we'll stop it. Uh, it stopped. So we will close it. Alright, that's all. And if you want to shift fuel from here to here, shift, uh, use all these pumps. Open number 3 as input, and this is output. Uh, it's number 4. Uh, you can see it's changing from here to here and switch it again good so it's working in 358 only so this is for abnormal procedures when we need to level the fuel and the empty tanks yep. all right so this is a fuel system and i think you uh, know almost everything for landing <coughs> if you want to land uh, you should change the takeoff rating uh, engine rating to flight from flight to takeoff 
And if you forget, nothing happens very wrong uh, because if you lower uh, the gear down, it will switch automatically to take off. Yeah? So that's the good thing. And uh, for landing, you should be within these bands in lower scale. Yeah? This is for landing. So uh, this is almost all for the flight tutorial for the quick one and if you need to know some other things about these systems there is another uh, longer tutorial for longer flights where is more time uh, you can watch it and listen how these systems works and so on yeah even with uh, autopilots and so on the last thing I will tell you about passengers uh, because this is feature this is Trevor Ingram always light in the cockpit right? right Trevor um, passengers as you can see I think you recognize them from uh, uh, f from Camille, Camille de Bellis uh, CDB library so they are not uh, after you download uh, the packages uh, present because they are quite big in size so there is a only in premium version uh, how to or read me uh, installation process how to get them here uh, it's very simple you just uh, get, uh, you just look to the uh, CDB library directory and copy a few files uh, into the Concord uh, it's very simple and, and you should after installation make a check for the passengers if they are loaded correctly or if anyone missing because uh, as a captain you are responsible for passengers on board and there is a custom content image number five I will make it bigger and here there is a front of the aircraft there is a big the aircraft yeah? and you can see there is a row one two three four five six so let's see if we have for example uh, this is uh, number one row this is number two and this is a b so number b is a lady 2b it's mei tzu jin uh, mei tzu jin uh, is a vegetarian and uh, is here uh, so it's good so this is a nothing important but finally you are not alone in the airplane uh, and this will be switched on from here yeah. you can see uh, is here huh? so I think uh, this is everything I want to in quick tutorial tell you uh, so this is enough from me um, enjoy the heritage package and uh, uh, if you have any questions or problems let me know I can see it. there is a different switching of strobe lights uh, so let me know and uh, enjoy the package uh, it's, it's very good I think uh, and I like it so much so I'll, I hope that you will do the same yeah? explain well finally so that's all from me thanks for watching and don't forget to watch the other tutorial for one interesting flight but it will be longer in VR so it's up to you yeah? so see you bye bye
Hey, you better pay for two when me come for you. Me not dead, no fool, yeah. Hey, you better pay your dues. Me not fed at you. Me not throw my dues. Now, with some man that you better make a move, please don't waste my time. I don't want to fall out, fall out, you. I need someone to call on, call on me, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the best I can find. But can a man not can reach my grind? Let's confess what's inside. Show me what you want to do for mine. Bless me, bless me for life. Protect me like I hit a dumb sign. 